morning everybody welcome to the Firefly Studio 67 today I want to share some awesome happy mail that I received a couple days back um, this is the first chance I've had to get around to videoing and also playing with it so everybody probably knows Patricia Viramontes here on YouTube she is the book page queen and uh, Patricia has a product in her shop called Stains by Patty Pockets. And she was so kind to send me a, a jar of this. And I told her, I said, um, I'll do a, you know, a little review on it on my channel as soon as I get around to it. And today is the day. So what we're going to do, um, and do ignore my... <laughs> my skills when it comes to decoupage. The uh, the point of this is not how well I decoupage, which isn't great, but to show you how these stains uh, will give your projects um, an aged look. And I've played around, you know, just on some paper probably a couple days ago, and I kind of compare it to the Tim Holtz um, collage medium. Now it's not the same consistency because you'll see this is um, thinner but as far as giving you you know kind of that distressed aged look um, that's the only thing I I can think of to compare it to. So let's just jump in and see how this is going to make our project look. That would help if I had a glue stick wouldn't it? So I hope everybody is okay, and hopefully you've been busy making some beautiful things. I have been, oh gosh, I don't know. I've been busy, but I can't really tell you what I've achieved. <laughs> Very little, it seems like. I've um, been working in the garden, so I'm in the, in the yard. It needed a bit of a tidy up. I don't know. We seem to have just bypassed summer here in the UK. And it feels like we're going into autumn, which I know is not the case because they're predicting Thursday that we're going to have a warmer than usual day. But um, just very odd, you know, it just goes along with 2020, I guess. But yeah, I feel, you know, I mean, obviously the garden's all starting to um, produce some nice things, but... I don't know. The leaves look to me like they're starting to change. It's just crazy, I'm telling you. I'll be so glad when 2020 is over with, guys. Oh, I know everybody will be, but... Okay, so all I've done is just... Um, I glued two pages together because I'm going to make just a, a quick tag um, just to, so you guys can see how this is going to look. And I'm hoping that I've got this napkin down to the single layer. It's difficult to, sh to tell with some of these um, nicer napkins. Uh, the Dollar Tree ones are seem to be... Ah, no, I didn't. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, the, the more expensive napkins are more difficult to know. If you're down to that last layer, but clearly I wasn't. So that's great. I got that now. Um, so yeah, busy, busy, but not really accomplishing a whole heck of a lot. So, okay, so you can already instantly see that that is turning that a really nice aged. So let's just get a thin layer of this, and I'll get that napkin down, and then we'll go over it and let that dry. And come back and I'll create um, a quick tag and I'll put this in my little stash for the next bee journal. No plans right now for one, but who knows? Every day, you know, it just all changes. <laughs> I think I have a plan and then it's like, oh, no, let's do something different. So, yeah, I've been. Um, working on some December dailies for my um, patron channel. I've been working on a little pocket file folder project. 
um, yeah, vid uh, journals are just kind of taking a back seat at the moment. Okay, so I can see I've got a little bit heavy handed on that side and pulled the napkin up, so I'll be a bit more gentle. But you can already see that that's given that a really nice color. And what I like about it, and I don't know, guys, maybe if you go over it a couple times, it probably gets darker, but this is my first real chance. So what I'm going to do at this point is dry this and then come back and cut it out and then we'll we'll see but I really like it I like the consistency of it it spreads very easily um, I think I just got a little bit heavy there on that that portion of the napkin but it's fine because it, it it's gonna still make a pretty tag I think when that's cut out all right guys so I'm gonna switch off dry this and come back Alright guys, I have dried that and went ahead and cut it out because I didn't figure you needed to watch me drag out the big shot to do that. And then I went ahead and backed those so that there will be some writing space. And I thought, well, I've got some of the napkin left. I'll go ahead and make a nice journal card as well. And this was a little tab that was gifted to me during my friendship challenge. And I'm going to add that... I think on the side there. So let me get that on. I really like <clears throat> the way that that's come out. Um, like I said, it's easy to work with. It's it's a nice consistency. And I wash the brush out, and I gotta say, it washes out of your brush beautifully. So that's another plus because I have had problems in the past. You know. You think you've got your brush clean and then you go back the next day to use it and it's dried up. So I'm very happy with it. Patricia, thank you so much for um, going to the trouble of sending that to me and uh, allowing me a chance to work with it. I really love the aged without it being too dark. Now, having said that, you know, if you want a darker, I would imagine... You could probably add another layer. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. And then also you could probably add a little bit of ink to that. But it's got a really nice um, uh, protective layer there. And I'm happy with how that's come out. So let's just finish these off. And uh, like I said, a very simple project. Um, this isn't necessarily, you know, to show off a tag or journal card because I'm going to keep these very plain. Um, it's just so that you can have an opportunity if you weren't familiar with this. I'm going to put a link below to uh, Patricia's. Um, I'll put a link to where you can purchase this and also to um, I'll put Patricia's name to her uh, YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys know because she is like I said, she's the book page queen. That girl can come up with so many ideas on how to make things from a book page. Um, her and Crafty Irina, they're both um, experts at how to use up a book page. So I just thought I might use this little butterfly on the big journal card with a little bit of lace behind. And then that's basically all I'm going to do to this one because I want to keep these fairly simple. Like I said, I don't even have a, um, a journal started for this. Um, but I know at some point I'll do another bee journal, and this will be very pretty in that. All right, let me get a little bit of a 
it's just a little bit of cheesecloth there, and I want to put some linen thread. So yeah, I don't know guys, I don't, it doesn't sound like anybody's doing a whole heck of a lot this year, which is a real shame. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I think we're going to look back to 2020 and think, whoa, what, what, uh, what was it all about? I did stitch around the, you can't see it because it's a white thread, but I did stitch around both of these, so it's got a little bit of extra texture from the, the stitching, but there you go guys, that is Stains by Patty Pockets. As I said, if you want to check into that, I'm going to put a link to the shop where you can purchase it. And then um, check out Patricia's channel here. She is so amazing with book pages. So I hope you guys are all well. Take it easy out there. Stay safe. And um, I'll see you here very soon. Bye.